Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The famous one-story house from the popular sitcom The Golden Girls is for sale for the first time. Blanche Devereaux resided in Miami, Florida with Rose, Dorothy, and Sophia on the program. Let's look inside the real Golden Girls houses. Number 6. The Golden Girls Houses Brentwood, California is the location of the open house. The exterior was seen in several images throughout the opening titles and before scene changes. Although the rooms we saw on television were sets, several settings appeared to be influenced by the genuine mansion. Because this is the first time the Golden Girls Mansion has been on the market since it was built in the 1950s, the interiors had never been seen before. After 65 years, it's being sold by the estate of its original owners, and its surprising mid-century Japanese Hawaiian beauty has been uncovered for the first time, says listing agent Rachelle Rostin. The couple who constructed the house in 1955 was inspired by the husband's father's Honolulu mansion, which is a well-known Hawaiian mid-century modern architect designed. The house was built in 1955 and is 2,901 square feet, with four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. It's also eerily similar to the program. The creators of the Golden Girls were given blueprints of this house to recreate the settings featured in the program. The living room is in the center of the house, as it is on the program, with the kitchen to the right. Compare these plans to what the hypothetical Golden Girls mansion may have looked like if this artist had designed it. However, the imaginary estate from the Golden Girls makes no sense. Rose's bedroom appeared to be in the backyard, and the filmmakers had no idea where the garage was. According to Jim Colucci's book, Golden Girls Forever, people would write into the program questioning why the home didn't line up, and designer Ed Stevenson would respond, encouraging them to keep watching since it will all make sense soon. The inside of the exhibit has floor-to-ceiling windows with a back sunroom. There's also the pink cushioned rattan couch, which is strategically situated in front of the cameras. The home, like its fictional cousin, features a lanae. It also has stone slab flooring and a skylight that lets in light through the arched canopy. The house is situated on a .26 acre lot with plenty of yard space. The show also had a lanae, but it was considerably larger and included a veranda. Number 5. The Sitcom The Golden Girls premiered on NBC in 1985 and continued for seven seasons, winning multiple Emmys and including more naughty jokes than any 10-year-old grandchild could comprehend. The program is a classic sitcom with fantastic writing, mainly in a mid-century modern home in Los Angeles, California. McClanahan, Betty White, who portrayed Rose, Beatrice Arthur, Dorothy, and Estelle Getty, Sophia, Dorothy's mother, were the four performers that helped the Golden Girls become so popular. Nobody else could have made the Golden Girls work as well as McClanahan, White, Arthur, and Getty. It might have turned out differently, of course. On set, the Golden Girls were fast friends, although a split between Arthur White and McClanahan was reported to have developed over time. McClanahan stated in a 2006 interview that she and Arthur didn't have a lot of connection going on. Arthur and White, on the other hand, were initially close. Number 4. Betty White Betty Marion White Ludden was an actress and comedian from the United States with a career spanning seven decades. White was a pioneer of early television. She was known for her extensive work in the entertainment business and for being one of the first women to work both in front of and behind the camera. Betty starred as Rose Linnett in The Golden Girls. Number 3. Beatrice Arthur Beatrice Arthur was an actress, comedian, singer, and activist from the United States. Arthur began her theater debut in 1947. For her role as Vera Charles in Mame, she earned the Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Musical in 1966. She plays a substitute teacher in the sitcom Born in Brooklyn, New York City, to Sicilian immigrants. Number 2. Rue McClanahan Eddie Rue McClanahan, February 21, 1934, to June 3, 2010, was an actress and comedian best known for her roles as Vivian Harmon on Maud, 1972-78. Aunt Fran Crowley on Mama's Family, 1983-84, and Blanche Devereaux on The Golden Girls, 1985-92, for which she won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 1987. She portrays a Southern beauty who works at a museum of art. Blanche was born into an affluent family and grew up on a plantation outside of Atlanta, Georgia, before moving to Miami with her husband, George, where they resided until George's death. Number 1. Estelle Gettleman Estelle Gettleman, 
Nasher, July 25, 1923 to July 22, 2008, was an American actress and a comedian best known for her role as Sofia Petrillo on The Golden Girls in 1985-92, for which she received a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Television Series Musical or Comedy, and a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Sofia is a quick-witted straight shooter who also happens to be a fantastic cook. The Golden Girls ended, but many people loved to watch its finale. 27.2 million people tuned in. It was the 17th most viewed television sitcom as of 2016. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye!